The U.S. is scrambling to respond to the violence in Israel and Gaza. American citizens have been killed and more taken prisoner by Hamas militants. I can confirm that nine Americans unfortunately have lost their lives as a result of these uh, horrific attacks in, in the region. We are in close contact with the uh, government of Israel as they continue to conduct security operations to, to locate uh, missing U.S. citizens. Over the weekend, U.S. President Joe Biden expressed firm support for longtime U.S. ally Israel. The United States stands with Israel. We will not ever fail to have their back. The Pentagon is sending an aircraft carrier and its 5,000-person crew, along with a group of other warships to the eastern Mediterranean and will increase U.S. fighter jet squadrons in the region, while also providing weapons and ammunition to Israeli defense forces. The U.S. is investigating any possible connection that Iran may have had to the Hamas attacks. We haven't yet seen direct evidence that Iran was behind this particular attack or involved, but the, the support over many years is clear. In the U.S. Congress, many lawmakers from both parties are expressing support for Israel. We need to make sure that they have all the resources and equipment necessary to defend themselves, to protect themselves, uh, and protect uh, the Israeli people. But the U.S. House of Representatives currently has no permanent leader. If Republicans can't quickly elect a new speaker, it could delay the U.S. response. The New York Stock Exchange opened Monday with a moment of silence, and U.S. business leaders are speaking out in support of Israel. J.P. Morgan Chase CEO Jamie Dimon called the attacks tragic. The U.S. Chamber of Commerce released a statement saying it strongly condemns the heinous attacks and a partnership of New York businesses compared the violence to the terrorist attacks of September 11, 2001. Across the U.S., there have been rallies in support of Israel and some smaller pro-Palestinian protests, including one at the White House. Security has been ramped up at some facilities like this synagogue outside Washington, D.C., Police and security officials say there are no credible threats at this point, but there are fears that Jewish people in the U.S. could be targeted as the conflict continues. Jim Spellman, CGTN, Bethesda, Maryland.